Hey beautiful people, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, psychic medium and divine channeler, and this is the Libra Weekly Read. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you'll find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it, whether that is today, next week, next month, trust in divine timing. Okay, so we're going to use the Inner Child Tarot deck to begin with. And then when we move on to the extended reading, we will use the Lightseer Tarot and some other Oracle cards. We'll play that by ear. Okay, Libra, what do you need to know? Do, do, do. I feel like I want to get drum rolls going because I feel like, what have you been waiting to hear? There's some news, there's something. You're waiting for something, Libra. What are you waiting for? the nine of hearts you're waiting for your love but it's like that abundance of love coming to you it's like I feel like you've settled for a long time but it's like well you know there's more you know there's better but It's that waiting and actually allowing that love in. Allowing the love in is a big thing for you. Opening that heart of yours, which will open those floodgates for that abundance of love you've been waiting for. Because we then got the Nine of Swords. Because I feel like you've been trapped, imprisoned in a sort of cage. But I actually feel this is very much an energetic imprisonment, mindset imprisonment. It's like whatever's been happening, you haven't been able to see out of it, see past it. But now you're seeing clearly that whatever you've been thinking is for you isn't. So you can break free from that, which in turn is opening those floodgates and allowing that love in. Because it feels very much like a false love, um, a controlling love, a love which isn't coming from the heart has been controlling you and keeping you trapped, keeping you held back. And it's like opening your heart will actually, opening your heart to the realization that this person that you've sort of held on to because it's familiar, comfortable, even if it's not the best, is letting go of that is opening you to more opportunities and possibilities. It's freeing yourself in a sense. Freeing yourself knowing that there is more blessings out there for you. And actually this person whom you've struggled to detach from is holding you back but you can break free, which will open those floodgates. Floodgates for love, for abundance, a lot of different new things coming into your life because your energy has been stuck, been stagnant, been trapped. But there's many more blessings coming. And as soon as you release yourself from what has been holding you back, which I feel is the struggle of letting go, you will start to forge forwards. There's definitely purges, there's definitely movement forwards, quite forthright, determined energy moving forwards, quick, fast changes. It's this trapped energy which has been holding you back and not helping your situation at all. It's, um, I want to say it's okay to be sad about letting this, whatever this is go. I feel like it's a love situation go. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to have loved them, but know the love isn't the best thing for you. It's not something to beat yourself up about. Just be glad you're realising now and that can change 
your future. I've got really itchy eyes and it feels very much like that is because you're seeing the situation more clearly now. Your view is changing. Allow other people to support you through this. Allow yourself to be supported. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to be struggling slightly. You're going through those changes, through those processing energies. So allow yourself to be supported. I do feel there's somebody telling you something which you're not sure is true or not. As well. I want to say this is coming from the past person. I say past person because you are leaving them behind. It's like you're you're having to check what they're telling you because I think you have your suspicions it's not true. I want to say trust your instincts. They have an they have this habit of bending the truth to suit themselves okay so be careful trust your heart in this i think you're right not to trust what they're saying okay then the next card ten of hearts because as soon as you go through these realizations and let this love go that unconditional abundant love is coming in You've been waiting for this, you deserve this. It's going to be a big change, actually having love which is genuine, not love which is I want to say false, because it does feel the false type of love. There's definitely this codependency, dependent energy going on, and it's like they need your love to make themselves feel better they need your love to control you they need it's not they're not wanting you for genuine love reasons and so you're doing right to let them go right to leave them behind but it's going to be replaced for the ultimate love it's your time to have the best love, the love that you are worthy and deserving of. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to head over to the extended reading now because I'm really excited to see more about this love situation which is coming in for you when you do leave this past behind. If this is where you leave me, then thank you so very much for joining me. Please do like and comment on the video if you feel drawn. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I truly do appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Namaste. Bye.